Uh, Mackenzie Gordon Day. Yeah. You know, uh, he's had a good out last his last out, and let's continue to do that consistency. I mean, um, he's got to keep the ball down. You know, we always talk about him throwing strikes, keeping the ball down. Um, when he does that, he's really good, and everything plays off the ball being down for him. Maybe the, f the first thing he said after the start in Kansas City to us was that he got le more lefties out. Clearly, it's top of mind for him. Um, how much has that been top of mind in your guys' conversations with him about the, the way his splits have res reversed this year? Yeah, it's been, um, it, it, you know, the, the big thing, the, the thing with him is not, not trying to be perfect, right? Just, hey, pound the strike zone, get the ball, hey. I always say this guy's got a bat for a reason, you know. Just make him swing the bat, you know. Get him, get him, get him aggressive. But um, he did really well because, like I said, the ball, the, the ball was he was pounding the strike zone down, makes the slider curveball that much better. Um, and for for uh, righties, it's a changeup that you know, makes it better as well. So um, he's just got to, like I said, he's got to get the hedge throw strike one, which he's really good at his last outing, and uh, keep working ahead. He had a better platoon split last year against lefties, like kind of guys normally do. So have you been surprised that it's flipped so much this year? Like, is yeah, it we've really been surprised because this stuff is so electric. Um, uh, so, you know, but uh, the biggest thing is, like I said, working ahead, getting ahead, staying ahead. In a small sample size, he has some success against some of their big lefties. Like, what's the balance between building off of that but also making enough adjustments because they are dangerous hitters? Yeah, they're, they're very good hitters, and the left-handers are really good. So, you know, it's about uh, making your pitches. You know, not trying to not trying to do too much because you're facing who you're facing. Just, uh, hey, just get to the next pitch. You know, and and we're focused on just making make, making a good pitch every pitch. What's the key to resonating with a super eager young pitcher that you don't have to be perfect on each pitch? It's just stay in the moment. You know, and that's the big thing with him. That's something that um, we taught Josiah. You know, last year, um, and he's been much better this year. About just focus on the moment, you know, and don't don't get ahead of yourself. If something goes awry, stick to the moment. And um, and Josiah's been really good, and we're really working on that with Mackenzie. If, okay. Yeah, yeah, you have a Corey in there against a lefty, but I, I know they're trying to do like a, a bullpen day. Is what's the challenge, I guess, for constructing a lineup when you know that they're their starter's not going to go too deep, and they're going to throw a bunch of different guys at you. Yeah, we, we you know, I bumped them down in the lineup. You know, so you see how far Shram will go, you know, go. Um, but Corey, sw you know, he's swinging the bat really well. And, and you know, hey, look, Corey's faced lefties plenty of times. Um, we'll get, we'll keep them in there, and we'll see what, we'll, we'll make them make the decision what they want to do. You know, we can always pinch hit. So um, I want, I want them to get in there today. Tomorrow they got a lefty starting. Um, so we'll probably do something different then. But, um, um, I want I want to see what they do, you know, uh, as far as how they're going to, you know, go about their um, matching up guys. So um, they use a lot of guys. You know, they use a lot of guys not only not only um, yesterday, but over the over the past week, uh, their bullpen's been stretched out a little bit. So um, we'll see how they do today. Do you go into the game wanting your hitters to try and grind some at bats, or do you not really like direct them to do that to try and get to the next guy quicker? Well, we, we, I mean, we, we've been grinding at bats. You know, I mean. Um, I thought we did a great job yesterday with, with Wheeler. I mean, Wheeler, Wheeler's a tough, tough guy to face, and we did a really good job of it. But one being aggressive, but yet fouling some tough pitches off, getting to the next pitch. Uh, you know, that's that's what I want these guys to continue to do. Um, if you get a pitch that you should you should hit and hit hard, hit it. <laughs> Don't worry about getting to the next pitch. You know. So, um, but they've been um, they've been they've been working good at bats. I want to go back to last night's game for a minute when Kyle came to you and said put me back in for the ninth. Um, he said that he has like said things like that to you before, but what was the difference last night where you guys were? I, I, I can see it. I can see it in his face. A, a big thing for me was getting him back out there because of what happened in L.A. with the pitch count, you know, violation and, you know, the stolen base and that stuff. Um, he was really down after that game, so I wanted to get him out there. When he comes up to me like that and he's adamant about um, – I thought it'd be a good moment for him, y'all, and it, it worked out well. If it wouldn't have worked out well, then it would have been a different conversation. But um, but the fact that you know he wanted to be out there, he want you know, and he wanted to be out there for his teammates, and uh, it was it was awesome. So uh, and we just said, hey, let him go. You know, if something happens, then you know, we'll have Machado ready. Um, but let him go and see what he does. And and he he, he manned up and <laughs> he got us some big outs. What's sort of the ideals? Kind of characteristics you look for in a backup catcher. What do you think is important for that role? You, you know, I, I, for me, Riley Hanna's done a great job with it. I mean, I, and I talk to him all the time. Hey, look, you're, 
your job is to manage the pitching staff, really. I mean, you come in, you play once or twice a week. Um, you really got to understand, you know, uh, the c catching part of it. And, um, you know, don't worry about, you know, don't worry about hitting so much. I mean, hey, you got a lot of power. I hope they can try to get a good pitch to hit and try to drive it out of the ballpark. You know, I mean, that's been, that's been, a, that's been my, my focus with him, you know. You know, the hits will come, you know. Um, but just, you know, just play, play the game. You know, play, play, the, play the game and, 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 and don't worry what happens. But this, the fingers and, the, and calling games needs to be sharp, needs to be on cue. I mean, to me, that's, that's what backup guys, catch and throw guys, you know. That, um, that's why these guys stay in the big leagues for, for such a long time because they're really good at it. Huh? No fingers. No fingers. Yeah, good job. Still, uh, still got to use his fingers, though. Right. Press, the, hey, press the right button. Uh, so <laughs>